Hi everyone, this is uh, Snorla. I'm back to do a revisit on um, my dual boot videos. And the reason is that I, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I reinstalled the Windows XP on my old Hackintosh. I'm using it as a file server. I have two one terabyte hard drives in it, and I used the RAID controller on the motherboard and uh, set those drives up in a mirror. And hopefully that will secure my files from a hard drive crash or similar. Anyways, when I installed Windows on uh, that old machine, I noticed that uh, there were separate drivers for the uh, serial ATA controller. One was named RAID controller and one driver was called AHCI controller. And uh, on my old motherboard, the Asus P5 LD2, uh, there is a Intel IO controller called, uh, or shortened to ICH7. The Gigabyte motherboard has a newer Intel IO uh, controller. ICH10. And this made me think a little bit. When I tried to install Windows XP on my Hackintosh uh, with the Gigabyte motherboard, um, I um, only saw a driver for, for RAID controller and I got a blue screen or I couldn't see any drives connected to the to the Intel disk controller when uh, when I used that uh, driver from the floppy. So I did a reinstall, I did check again and I'll show you the results and show you how I figured out this problem. There was nothing wrong with the drivers, uh, there was something wrong with the user, namely me, so we have a classic case of pebcock. And here we are, booting up the computer. I'll pause for a little second here, and you'll see that my first hard drive is on port 00. That's my 500 gig OS 10 drive. Port 02 is my optical drive, and port 04 is my one terabyte drive, which I'm installing Windows XP on in this video. Press any key to boot from CD, so we press any key. And any second now, the Windows setup will prompt us to press F6 if you need to install third-party drivers. And so press F6. I'll just speed this section up a little bit. Uh, not very interesting to watch all this. And at this point, we can specify an additional device. And as you see here, here's the list. And since we have the ICH10R, um, I was pressing that the last time, but what I found out, you, you can scroll upwards to find additional drivers. And as you see here, we have an ICH10R Serial ATA AHCI controller. This is the driver we want to use if we're installing Windows XP on the Gigabyte motherboard. And of course, the Serial ATA control being in AHCI mode. So we continue the installation. I'm just speeding this up a little bit. And in my previous videos where I attempted to install XP, uh, I would get a blue screen around here. And of course, now w when I'm using the correct driver, uh, that won't happen. And uh, the installation sequence will start up real nice. And I will get an option to install Windows. To set up Windows XP, now press Enter. And so we press enter and it will check my disks and I have to agree to their terms and we see two drives one is 500 gig drive for OS 10 and one is the one terabyte drive it was already partitioned for NTFS so I'll delete this partition and I'll make a new one create partition and uh, Unfortunately here, I made a, a partition of the entire drive, uh, so I'll de delete that again and create a partition 
that is only around 50 gigabytes that should be more than enough for Windows XP and uh, here we are now we we'll press enter to install and I ran into some problems here it says that this disk doesn't uh, work basically this disk does not contain a Windows XP compatible partition and this was very strange and I did some testing and tried to create a partition several times and I finally decided that I would unplug my uh, OS X drive and put the Windows drive on port the first port of the disk controller port 00 instead of the the fifth port which is it, which is was on at this time now let's take a look on how that went and here we are rebooting the computer if we pause this we'll see that I only have one drive connected and that is to the first port of the serial ATA controller and this section of the video I'll just speed up a little bit press F6 to tell Windows installation that we need to load some drivers like we've done before and when we come to this point we press S to specify additional drivers as you can see I'm trying to scroll down and it is not possible uh, but <laughs> logically enough you can scroll upwards uh, this is actually the reason why I never found out that it there were two different drivers so as they say you live you learn <laughs> the driver will continue loading and after some time you can press enter to, to continue the installation and I'll just speed up the rest now we're yet again at the point where I uh, used to get a blue screen and so far so good press F8 to agree there's only one hard drive here I can create a partition we'll just make one uh, 50 gig partition and press enter to install and voila you get the uh, option to format the drive or the partition and uh, when that's done you can continue the installation and installation will just be uh, regular from this point on nothing weird about it so there you are using the correct driver which was kind of hidden if you ask me you'll get this working like a charm so there you go uh, installing XP on the Gigabyte EX58 UD3 or UD5 should uh, work even if you have the Intel Serial ATA controller in AHCI mode and what that does for you is that you can have your um, Windows drive connected to the serial ATA controller that you will see inside of OS 10 and that will enable you to access the partitions and of course then the files and folders on your uh, Windows hard drive or <coughs> Windows part partition and other partitions you may have for example a, a small FAT32 partition so you can move files between OS 10 and Windows um, so and <laughs> hopefully this will uh, make it a lot easier to do dual booting for you guys if you use Windows XP and as I mentioned in my earlier videos uh, Windows 7 should not be a problem uh, it may seem like my videos show that it's extremely complicated to install Windows but keep in mind it's Windows XP it doesn't have compatibility with uh, serial ATA controllers running in AHCI mode uh, serial ATA controllers w didn't exist when Windows XP was made so uh, the only way to support it is by using uh, third-party drivers that you have to put on a floppy drive and do all this mumbo jumbo with and it's complicated but if you have Windows 7 don't sweat it it's no problem you install it like you would on a, any other computer 
um, that's it for me today. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, I'll come back with more videos. I've got a lot of videos lined up. I just have to edit them and, well, uh, hopefully I'll get them up and uh, you may enjoy them. And as a side note, uh, as <laughs> if you see my desktop here, I did a Hackintosh remake of the known I replaced a PC wallpaper for Macs. And I thought we Hackintoshers should have our own version. So here it is. I'll put a link to it in the sidebar. So if you're interested in it, download it, use it, spread the word, and enjoy. Have a nice day.